Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Wednesday the 21st of April. The local media headlines today. The fifth largest political party in Cornwall, hoping to get people elected to Cornwall Council next month, has just published its manifesto. Mebian Kerno might not call it a manifesto, it's more a series of very general promises to try hard and be cheerful at all times. But you wouldn't want to rule out just how important half a dozen councillors might be when it comes to stitching together any post-election coalition. Cornwall Reports also drew attention to a remarkable article in the Health Service Journal, which has been doing a splendid job of peeling the onion at the Cornwall Partnership NHS Foundation Trust. The death toll on the A38 in South East Cornwall continues to rise. A woman in her 70s was killed in a crash on Monday afternoon. There have been more than 30 serious accidents there in the past four years. And the latest jobs figures for Cornwall show little change on the previous month. The BBC reflected on the growing trend for local authorities in Cornwall to do more with their roundabouts. The town of Newquay has decorated its Pentire roundabout with surfboards. Apparently some of Cornwall's roundabouts now even have their own Facebook page. The Falmouth Packet highlighted some forthcoming property auctions. The Cornish Times promoted the inaugural meeting of the Women in Rural Enterprise Network. And finally Cornwall Live has a story about an ice cream man. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.